In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Stripe account to beacons.ai. Step by step, we're gonna walk through this. So first step is to log into your beacons.ai account. If you don't already have a beacons.ai account, it's a great tool, it's free, and they have very affordable paid options. So there's a link in my description box for beacons.ai, along with a video that shows you step by step how to sign up. So once you've done that and you're signed up, go to your beacons.ai account and log in and to get to your payment section you're going to go down here to the very bottom where it says your name of your store click on the arrow or your name it will bring up a little pop-up button and then you will click on account settings and it will take you to your main account settings here you're going to want to go over to where it says payments and click on payments and this will show you the payment providers that you've already set up so you can use paypal stripe or your own bank account. This is basically your bank account will that will display on invoices. You can't actually be paid out directly to your bank account. You have to have PayPal or Stripe to get paid from anything you sell on beacons.ai. So keep that in mind. You'll have to either use PayPal or Stripe. So let's connect Stripe and show you how to do it. You'll see here the option for Stripe and then over on the right hand side, the connect button. So click connect. This will bring you up to a page that shows you that Beacons partners with Stripe for secure payments. So you can either get started with Stripe if you haven't done it before, or if you already have a Stripe account, you can use that same email. So I do have a Stripe account, so I'm gonna enter my email and click the submit button. Here, if you're not signing up for the first time, it will want your Stripe password. So you enter your password and then you click the green submit button. If you're already using Stripe for another site, you will probably have either the Authenticator app or a six digit verification code sent to your text messages. So whichever one you have, find that and then enter the number in the spaces provided. So once you enter your six digit verification code, it will bring you up to this next page that says select the account you'd like to connect to Beacons and they will basically have access to your account data. So any payment and payout history, anything from other businesses you've used, all of that will be available to Beacons. So just make sure that you're okay with that. And then once you're ready, you can click the connect button or you can create a new account. So you do have the option option to create a new account with Stripe if you're not comfortable with them seeing your old information or if you're just new to Stripe. So click the green connect button when you're happy with the account that you're going to use. It will take you back to Beacons because Stripe is going to do everything in the back end to get your account connected. You don't actually ever have to log into your Stripe account or anything like that. You already did it through that screen and now you can see it is connected. This is super easy, super quick and now you have your Stripe account set up so you can get payments from Stripe or you can also connect PayPal and use that as well. So once you have your Stripe account connected, you do have a couple options if you click on the three little dots on the side so you can click manage and this will take you to your Stripe account. You'll just be logged in automatically or if you need to log in again and it will show you basically what you have earned with your Stripe account if you use Stripe. So it'll show you the gross volume. It'll show you what you earned yesterday, all of this information. I don't personally use Stripe for any of my payments so I don't have anything here but if you're using Stripe and you're getting sales on Beacon, it can be really nice to log into this and kind of see where you're earning, how much you're earning, what is going on with your products. If you don't want to log into your Stripe account, you can easily see all of those transactions by clicking the three dots and then clicking view transactions and it will show you all of your Stripe transactions inside of your Beacons account, which is kind of crazy, but you can see all of these older ones that I have. You can see where when I used to use Stripe, I did have all of these payments. So you can see this, if you are having payments go through Stripe, you can see it right in your Beacons account, which is amazing and really nice that they tie together so well, so that you're able to really see what you're earning, what transactions are going through and where you might have problems if you have a status that's not succeeded. And then of course the last option is to click the three dots and you can delete your Stripe account. So if you want to delete Stripe from beacons.ai, you can always click delete and you can disconnect your Stripe account from beacons. So if you're ready to do that, you click the red button and disconnect it. That's everything you need to know about connecting Stripe to beacons and removing Stripe as well. I hope this was helpful and definitely check out the next video about how to use beacons.ai.